Hello friends, now we are going to see different classes of graph. So see here, these are the classes of graph. First class is regular graph. So in this graph, every vertex has the same degree. Okay, means see here, vertex A has degree 2, vertex D has degree 2, vertex B has degree 2 and vertex C has degree 2. Means this is the regular graph because every vertex in this graph has the same degree. So see here, if every vertex in this graph has degree k, then that graph is called as k regular graph. Okay. So because in this graph, every vertex has degree 2. So this graph is 2 regular graph. If suppose in another graph, the degree is 3, then it will be called as 3 regular graph. Okay. So this is a regular graph. Now let's go to the next class. So next class is complete graph. So in this graph, every vertex is connected to every other vertex in the graph. Okay. So see here, if we take A, then A shares an edge with every other vertex in the graph. If you take C, so look, C shares an edge with every vertex in the graph. Okay. So this is the complete graph. Now let's go to connected graphs. So see here, this is a graph. This total is one graph. So in this graph, see here, suppose this is the vertex A and suppose this vertex is F, then there is no path from A to F because the connection is missing. Okay. But if you connect these two vertices with an edge C. So this name of this vertex is B and suppose this is E. If you join B and E, then this graph becomes connected graph because now from every other vertex to each vertex, there is a path. Okay. So I have named every vertex. So suppose you want to go from C to G then there is a path from C to G means you can start at any vertex and you can reach any other vertex. So then this graph is called as connected graph. Now this was for undirected graph. Okay. This was undirected. But now let's go to directed graphs. So in directed graph, see here, suppose this is vertex A and this is vertex G. Okay, so can you reach from A to G? So let's check. So direction is this. So you can go from A to B, then B to C, okay, then C to D, then D to G you cannot go, okay. This is not possible. Then from C to G is also not possible. That means you cannot go from A to G. That is why this graph is not connected. This is a disconnected graph. But if suppose I change the direction of this edge and I make it opposite. Okay. Now the direction of this edge is towards G. Okay. From D to G. The direction is from D to G. Now this graph becomes connected because from every vertex there is a path to every other vertex. Okay. So suppose you want to go from B to G, then C, B to C, C to D and D to G. You can go from any vertex to any vertex. Now this graph becomes connected. But in case of directed graphs, this graph is called as strongly connected. Okay. The property is same. For undirected graph and directed graph, the property is same that you can reach from any vertex to any other vertex. But if it is undirected graph, then the term is connected. And if it is directed graph, then we say that it is strongly connected graph. Okay. So for directed graph, the term is strongly connected. Right. So now let's go to the next class that is planar graph. 
so in planar graph no two edges should intersect each other so see this is a planar graph okay this is a planar graph but this is not a planar graph because these two edges intersect so in a planar graph no two edges intersect means there should not be intersection of any edges okay such a graph is called as planar graph now let's go to the next class that is bipartite graph so in bipartite graph you can divide the set of vertices into two different sets so see here this is a graph and you can divide the vertices in this graph into two different sets that is a b c and d e f these are the two different sets of the vertices in this graph and the speciality is that suppose you take a then this vertex in the first set shares an edge with every vertex in the other set okay means a has an edge with d e f okay all the vertices in the second set again b has an edge with all the vertices in the second set again c has an edge with all the vertices in the second set so if you can divide the graph into two such sets then that graph is called as bipartite graph okay so see the answer is in the name itself bipartition okay so you can divide the graph into two sets such that every vertex in the first set is connected to every vertex in the second set okay so this is called as bipartite graph now let's go to tree is a graph with no cycle okay so cycle should not be present right so a tree is a connected graph with no cycle okay so see tree is a connected graph with cycle not present so you can see you can reach from any vertex to any vertex in this graph but there is no cycle so what is cycle see this is the graph then in this graph if you start from a then you go to b then c d e okay and again a so this is a cycle means you start at vertex a and you end at vertex a starting and ending is the same vertex that is why this is cycle okay such graphs are called as cycle graphs cycle graphs okay so these are the classes of graphs first is regular graph then complete graph connected graph planar graph bipartite graph tree and cycle graph you can also consider that as the class of graph again there is a finite graph class so in finite graph class the number of vertices should be finite if there are infinite vertices in the graph then that graph is as infinite graph so in a finite graph the number of vertices are finite means which are countable which we can count okay so these are the classes of graph hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you